Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be talking once again about the standard baskets and the dual wall baskets in the Sage Bambino Plus and specifically in this video I'm going to be comparing the different baskets when making milkies i.e. flat white, cappuccino, latte etc. So in previous videos I've compared the difference between making espresso with the standard baskets and grinding coffee fresh and also using the dual wall baskets and using pre-ground coffee. I did a couple of comparison videos and they were focusing on just the espresso or making a lungo from the espresso so I could have them the same temperature and comparing the taste between using the two baskets and using pre-ground and freshly ground coffee. But then somebody asked in the comments, what about when you're making milkies? So what about when you're making cappuccino, flat white, latte, etc.? Is it really worth buying a grinder capable of espresso grind, such as a Sage Smart Grinder Pro? Or if you're gonna be dumping a load of milk in it anyway, are you gonna taste a difference? Would you be better off just sticking to pre-ground coffee or a much cheaper grinder like this Krups Expert grinder I've got here? and using the dual wall baskets. And my answer to that question is, aha, I don't know because I've not tried that. So in this video, I'm going to be trying making a flat white, making two flat whites, one by the Sage Smart Grinder Pro using the standard basket or standard basket, and the other one with the dual wall basket using the Krups Expert grinder. The Krups Expert is capable of grinding nearly fine enough for espresso but not quite. In my humble opinion, the grinding size you get from grinding fresh with the Krups is very similar to most pre-ground espresso coffee that you'll buy. It's just slightly too coarse for espresso. So this comparison kind of works at the same time for pre-ground as well, because pre-ground would usually be ground for espresso to a similar grind size to what we'll be able to get out of this. So I'm using the exact same coffee. I'm going to grind with the Krups. I'm going to grind with the Sage Smart Grinder Pro. And then I'm going to pull a shot via the standard basket and then via the dual wall basket with the coarser coffee. I'm going to make a flat white with both of them with the Sage Bambino Plus. I'll taste them both, blind taste them as I did in previous videos. And we'll see whether it makes any difference. We'll see whether it is worth investing in a capable espresso grinder if you're just going to be making milkies. Let's try and answer that question. So we're ready with the coffee of ground with the Sage Smart Grinder Pro. So the one that I've pulled using the coffee ground on the Smart Grinder Pro has got a little rubber thing stuck to the bottom of it so I can identify that. So the one with the rubber stopper on the bottom is freshly ground with the Smart Grinder Pro. Okay, so that was pulled by the dual wall basket. Looks okay in terms of crema and that's something I've noticed that the dual wall basket does quite well is it creates crema. Doesn't necessarily do as well in the taste department but visually the dual wall basket does quite a good job so we know this hasn't got anything on the bottom of it so when I make a flat white with both of them the one with nothing on the bottom has been made by the dual wall basket and the Krups grinder. By the way it's a bit of a pain dosing the porter filter with the Krups because you've got to pour it from this grinds container. There is a mod that you can do where you put basically a piece of pipe coming from the grind chute and turn it into a grinder that will grind straight into your basket. Now for the milk. I've not done latte out by the way because I'm using the same milk from one jug. I wanted to make sure I knew how much milk was put in and they didn't want to be able to easily identify which is which. I don't know which is which at this moment, so let me taste them and see. I think I'm going to have to drink them both. I 
This one is better marginally, but there's really, really, really little difference. So the one I made using the Sage Smart Grander Pro was just slightly better, but there's so little in it. It was quite difficult. With the espresso, I pulled using the standard basket and the Sage Smart Grander Pro. The taste is slightly more full. It's a little bit stronger. The espresso comes through in the milk slightly more than it does in the one that I made using the dual wall basket and using the Crooks grinder, which isn't quite capable of going fine enough for espresso. But I have to be really honest and say it is quite subtle. The espresso stands up against the milk more, if that makes sense, with the shot that I've pulled using the coffee that I've ground using, say, Smart Grinder Pro and with the standard baskets. The, the one with the dual wall basket and the crops, just marginally, the espresso doesn't stand up against the milk as much. It's got the exact same amount of milk in both of them, but this one is just there slightly more. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls in a minute. So to answer the question then, is it really worthwhile investing in a capable espresso grinder and using the standard baskets that now come with this age Bambino Plus? Is it going to be worth it in terms of the result in the cup over using pre-ground coffee with the dual wall baskets or using a cheaper burr grinder that's not quite capable of grinding fine enough such as the Krups or the DeLonghi burr grinders and using the dual wall basket? Is it worth it? My answer to that, I think, is if you're just starting out and you're mainly making milkies, flat white, cappuccino, latte, and you can't afford to buy something like the Sage Bambino Plus along with something like the Sage Smart Grinder Pro or one of the other grinders that I talk about as capable espresso grinders in my grinders post at coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash grinders. If you can't afford to buy the two together, and you mainly drink milkies, I wouldn't worry about it. I would personally not go for a cheaper grinder. I would buy pre-ground coffee, not from the supermarket, but from a coffee roaster. Go to coffeeblog.co.uk and on the right hand side of the page, you'll see the coffee roasters directory. If you click on that, there are hundreds and hundreds of small batch specialty UK coffee roasters, or obviously if you're not in the UK, you can there would be plenty of small batch coffee roasters in your area. Buy pre-ground espresso ground coffee, freshly roasted from a small batch coffee roaster and use a dual wall basket. And the results you get in the cup will be very, very similar to if you bought a grinder and went finer for espresso and ground at home. Once you've put a load of milk in it, the difference isn't going to be all that noticeable and it depends on your palate as well. If you've just started out in your home barista journey, your palate might not be quite as developed. So you might not taste a difference at all at this stage. So I wouldn't worry too much about it if you're mainly making milkies. If you're making espresso and you're drinking espresso or Lungo or Americano and you're not going to be diluting it with a load of hot milk, then I wouldn't recommend what I'm recommending now. I would definitely recommend trying to wait until you've got enough for a capable grinder as well. But if you're just making milkies, if you're mainly drinking milkies, you'll be fine with pre-ground. And by the way, if you're wondering why coffee roasters don't create really finely ground pre-ground coffee for espresso that you would think, you know, why wouldn't you do that? The reason for that is if they go finer, it's gonna choke some machines. Not all machines are the same. Not even all the same model of espresso machine will require the same grind size. It's a specific thing to your machine. So if they go much finer, some people are gonna get no espresso whatsoever from the bean. It's gonna choke the machines and might get a drip and they're gonna get angry customers. They're gonna get complaints. They're gonna get coffee sent back to them. They're gonna end up refunding. That's not what they want. So they've got to err on the side of caution and they've got to go with coarser ground coffee to make sure that everyone who buys their coffee gets espresso from it. And unfortunately that one size fits all is more coarse. It can't go really fine. 
because it'll choke some machines so that's why so there you go in a nutshell no it doesn't really make that much difference once you poured a load of milk in it the taste is different but it's not all that detectable it is quite subtle so if you wanted to start off with a machine like this using pre-ground or using a cheaper burr ground if you wanted to with the dual wall basket that'd be absolutely fine if you're mainly drinking milkies you're probably not going to notice that much difference but then in the future you could upgrade get yourself a decent grinder and then up your home wrist again that way so there we go Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That'd be very kind of you. Click the like button. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. I always try and answer questions. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why not? If you click up here somewhere, there's a little round photo of a very nice flat white. If you click on that, you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you allow notifications, you'll get a notification when I've uploaded the next video. So, Tatty bye. Well, it, not. It, it.